Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor, and today we're out here in Arvada, Colorado in the Candela's neighborhood. Right now we're looking at homes by Cal Atlantic Homes. Lots of builders out here, starting out with Cal Atlantic. Um, we're in their first model, it's the Vista. Let's go ahead and get started. When you first walk in here, we have a nice, big, wide, open hallway. Feels light and bright in here, plenty spacious. And you can see right back out into your great room there, looking out into the, um, some nice big windows there, into your backyard. But, had we turned right when we walk in, we come to our main floor office area. Nice, light, and bright, faces the front of the house, so if you're waiting for the FedEx man, you can see him coming. But nice office space right here at the front of the house. If we keep on walking, we have a hallway right down here. We have a double door coat closet, and if you come back here, you can get um, a look at the powder bath for the main floor. All right, if we keep on walking, we're back up into our main hallway. We have stairs leading into the basement here. Now partial unfinished basements do come standard in the base price. And then right by our stairs going down, we have our stairs leading up. And of course, we'll go check the upstairs out in just a minute. And then we're into our main living space. Over here we have our dining area, and it's a pretty undefined space. They have a nice size circle table in here, but I think you could fit something quite a bit bigger. And as you can see, they put in some cabinets and countertop space right over here. I really like that, a good place to keep your uh, Christmas dishes or um, china in your crock pot right over there, extra space. And then we're into our great room. Absolutely love, love this great room. First of all, it's a bit framed in. It gives it a bit of a defined space. And then the ceilings have a vault to them. I really like the beams that they added in on this. Now that's, you know, custom. That's not coming standard, but like the vault in here and just a really nice feel. And I like the way they have it decorated because it's just, I feel it feels fresh in here and airy, gotta say. But turning right around over here, we come to our kitchen, our island right over here. They have three chairs pulled up, up to it. I don't think I do any more than that. Our sink right here in the island. Um, over this way, you can see we have our pantry over here. Um, and not a whole ton of countertop space. I think it's sufficient, though, and with the island, there's plenty of room to do all your prep and whatnot. But if we turn right around here, we have our sliders looking out onto our porch, and that's really just letting in a lot of light into this kitchen. If we keep on walking, we get to our mudroom area. This is your entrance to your garage. I like that they put some benches and hooks in here. I think I would do that. And I really like that they put a built-in desk right here. That's nice, especially if you can't dedicate a room in your home to an office. Nice to have this spot right over here. And of course, we have another nice window in here, letting in plenty of light. That covers our main floor. We're gonna head back towards the stairs and go check out the second floor. Okay, here we are at the top of the stairs, and coming straight back from the stairs, you walk into this nice loft area. Uh, it's a good space to set up a playroom, extra TV room, uh, put your treadmill in here. Um, always nice to have a loft on your second floor, right? If we come back this way, we come to our first secondary bedroom. This is facing the side of the home. Not a bad sized bedroom for a kid's room, and we have our traditional slider doors on the closet here. Coming back out, right across the hall here, we have uh, our bathroom to be shared between the secondary bedrooms up here. The bath and the toilet are in their own separate room, which I really like. That way somebody can be washing up and getting ready while someone else is uh, in the shower. Walking past our lab and straight back and to the right, we have our master bedroom. Um, not a huge master bedroom compared to some of the models that we take tours of, but not a bad size. You can see they have a king size bed in here and some uh, big tables and still fits just fine. We have some, what I do like in here, lots of windows though. This is facing the rear of the house. We have a couple of great big windows and windows on either side of the bed, so it is very light and bright in here. Especially the way they have it decorated with all the white, really like that. 
All right, coming back this way, let's check out our master bath. We have a linen closet. Directly across from the linen closet, we have our toilet closet. Then we have a nice double sink vanity right over here. Turning right across from that, we have our shower. And then at the end of our rest bathroom here, we have our walk-in closet. Um, not too bad of a size, nice window in there, letting in some natural light. Oh, and I did want to point out we have a couple windows in here. Um, in our shower, again, letting in some natural light into our bathroom, which is really nice. Okay, coming back through our master bedroom, out to the hall. Over here we have a linen closet. We have our laundry room. Nice to have your laundry on the second floor. And then at the end of this hall, we have our next secondary bedroom and it's decorated really cute. And this one does have a couple of windows. This one is facing the front of the house. And again, my name's Courtney Murphy. We're here in Arvada, Colorado, in the Candela's neighborhood, looking at homes by Cal Atlantic. If you'd like to see one of these homes in person, definitely give me a call. I'd love to help you find the right home for you and your family and help you save some money in the process. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where um, you can see new home tours around the Denver area every single week. Thanks for joining me today and have a wonderful day.